I think many of us have beautiful linens that our ancestors and other women embroidered and crocheted and tatted in the past. And I was given these ones, and literally, they are too good to use. So I'm going to try to um, uh, use them in a coverlet in a way that doesn't um, mar their beauty or integrity. So my plan right now is to either hand or machine baste these onto this cotton linen backing and then put another batting behind that and then embroider or something and embellish these pieces somehow to be a a, a thin coverlet. So I will keep you apprised of how this is going. Bye. Well, this is not going to be a lightweight comforter because I have basted all the top that I assembled onto batting. And the reason I did that is I think I'm going to be doing quite a lot of hand embroidery on this. And if I have that, um, the firmness of the batting on the back of these pieces, then I won't need to use an embroidery hoop. But it's no longer going to be lightweight because it weighs a lot already without having any backing on it. Okay, I will see you later. Bye. Well, I finished the quilt that I said I was going to do so much hand embroidery on. You'll see there is no hand embroidery on this because I got realistic and realized I was not going to have time in my lifetime to do all the things that I think I'd like to do. But I did get the quilt, quilt done and I think I think someone will enjoy using it. And it's machine quilted. Um, probably. I machine quilted it in a way I hope enhances the blocks with a very light gray thread. Okay, so I hope you, maybe this will give you some ideas of things you can do with treasured textiles you have in, in your home. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome to Scrap Happiness Studio. People that know me know that I love to make things, so almost anywhere I go, people hand me bags full of treasures that they have that they don't know what to do with. Things like like this and you know other things or things that have problems or bits of lace or unfinished quilt blocks and I take them and I try to make things with them that honor the maker and make good use of their stuff so this piece this is probably the fourth quilt I've made using either parts of Dresden plates or whole Dresden plates like this and so what I've done on this piece so far is I took the Dresden plates and put fusible web on the back and then fused the center in them. I've done some couching, just zigzag couching on machine because the, you know, the blocks are like this so I can easily get them under my machine. Normally, I, you know, I like to free motion couch, which I plan to do on the outside of this to fill in this border because I decided to make it bed sized. And I've got some little leaves I'm going to fuse on, but I have to do that at the last minute since it's part of a whole quilt now. So I will, um, I'm going to get busy quilting this and I'll show you the finished piece in a future video. Thank you. Subscribe if you like the videos.